Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Heart DFS. Today, we have another NBA prize pick video for you guys. Uh, four picks today. So, if you're new to the channel, please hit the like, uh, subscribe, hit the no notification bell. Do appreciate all the support. I make daily NBA prize pick videos as well as daily NBA slate, slate breakdowns on DraftKings. So, a lot of good content for you guys to enjoy. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Heart DFS. Um, I think I'm going to be doing a giveaway today if these four picks uh, hit for today. I'll be giving away uh, 25 bucks to anyone who retweets my uh, the picks on my Twitter. So once again, I'm going to put these uh, picks up on my Twitter. If they hit today, I'm going to give 25 bucks of that away to uh, one of you guys. So make sure to follow me there. I think I'm going to do that today. You know, give back to you guys. Uh, you know, get some good luck going. And yeah, so follow me on Twitter. Um, let's get into the four picks for today. Al Horford, over 24 and a half projected points, rebounds, assists. Really like this today. Um, Al Horford kind of had a letdown game last game, which is super interesting because, you know, the previous two games he played, he used 9 of 17, 11 of 14, with, you know, 22, 16, and 5 and 2, 38 and 3 and 1. You'd be like, oh, Al Horford's, you know, going to get 10 plus shots the next game. Only shoots it seven times. Tatum was shooting a ton, which obviously, you know, it's Tatum he does. Brown, you know, okay. But then Smart was, uh, other guys were, I think he got like the lowest amount of shots on the team for anyone who played, basically. Still got you eight points, eight rebounds, six assists, a block, you know, three steals, uh, 34 and a half fancy points. Oh my gosh, sorry, my computer froze for a second. But yeah. I mean, the rebounds per game have been fantastic for Al since he's been getting the, a ton of minutes, you know, about 40 plus, 10, 11, 16, 8, 8, eight's his floor basically. So yet a floor of eight rebounds, he's getting you three plus assists per game and the, then the points, you know, I don't expect him to go out and only shoot it seven times. They're going to need him to step up. They're going to need him to do well. I expect him to, you know, get back to his normal Average of about 13 plus in this spot uh, against the Celtic or against the um, Bucks. Sorry, I can't even speak. I just think it's way too low for a guy who's going to play, you know, 40 minutes. Al Horford's been doing great this series. I do think 24 and a half is way too low for a guy who's going to get you probably 10 plus rebounds, a couple assists, and then all he needs is like 10 points and you're there. Um, so, yeah, I think it's way too low for Al Horford in the spot. I really like the over there. He's been, you know, I'm going to ride the hot streak of how well he's been playing uh, the playoffs. So, really like Al Horford. Really like Bobby Portis. Talked about uh, in my NBA slate breakdown on DraftKings the other day. How I really liked Bobby. And I really thought that if they want to win, they're going to have to play Bobby. And what do you know? He comes in, uh, you know, gets that offensive board off a free throw, makes the shot, puts him up one, they win the game. Pretty much all due to Bobby there. Obviously, Giannis hit the three. Drew hit the three. Really like Bobby today. Where is he? Uh, Boston, Milwaukee, Bobby. There he is. Bobby Portis. Saw 28 minutes. Shot the ball 14 times. You know, his normal range is about 12. Usually shoots it very well from three. Uh, he's been pretty bad from three, as you can see, since the Bulls series. Do like him to bounce back. Uh, it's just the minutes, though. He's a great energy guy. Can really get you those boards, you know. Even in you know about 32 minutes, he's going to get you a ton of rebounds. And if he's hitting the shots, you know, he's going to get you over 10-plus points. I just think it's a little too low. 20-and-a-half uh, for a guy. He's going to get you, can easily get you, uh, you know, over 10 points, 10 rebounds. So, really like Bobby Portis in the spot. Do think they're going to give him some more minutes today. I do think you can expect around 33-ish, 34-ish. Um, you know, normal Bobby Portis double double game. So really like him today. Um, you know, to pair with Al Horford. I really like Jordan Poole's over. I know we didn't hit the other day. They got blown out by pretty much 55. Uh, but 27 and a half is way too low for a guy who I think he was averaging 21 points per game in the playoffs. And he's coming off the bench. He's seen around, you know, 34 to 38 minutes, depending on how he's playing. Uh, not afraid to shoot the ball, as you can see. 20, 16, 17, 12. Obviously, only six times because he got blown out. But he's pretty much getting close to that 17 and a half uh, range when it comes to shots. 14 points, 27, 20, 31. Um, so he's a great shooter. Can get you the rebounds and assists as well. You know, six, four, three, eight, you know, nine assists, five, two, five. So for a guy who's a, a great scorer, 
um, get two rebounds and assists. 27 is way too low when he can pretty much get there, just let alone on uh, his points. So then you factor in his rebounds and assists. I think it's just way too low for Jordan Poole in the spot against Memphis at the Warriors' home stadium. I do think the Warriors are going to play very well today. So I really like Jordan Poole's over. And then I really like Tatum's over a 46 you know, projected fantasy score. As we can see with um, Tatum, hit the past three out of five. Um, he's going to get you most of his points from scoring. As you can see, you know he's going to play pretty much the whole game. Not afraid to shoot the ball a ton. Hasn't shot it well from three at all. So if he's hitting some more threes, that's going to allow him to score a lot better. But you know he's going to get you rebounds. He's going to get you assists. He can't get you a block or a steal. You know four blocks at one game, one steal. You know three steals, two steals. Just the heart and soul of this team. I just think the 46 projected fantasy score in a win or, win or go home game from a guy who's going to shoot the ball about 30 times is just a little too low for me. They're going to need him to step up. And I really like uh, Tatum in this spot. So these are the four I really like today. I think there's a lot of good plays for today, so I don't mind where you guys go. These are uh, the the ones I'm going to go with. Al Horford over PRA, Bobby over PRA, Poole over PRA, and then Tatum over Fantasy Score. Really, really like these. Once again, doing a giveaway on my Twitter for these picks. If they all hit, I'm going to do uh, a $25 giveaway to one of you guys that retweets the picks on Twitter today. So make sure to follow me there at HeartDFS. One more time at HeartDFS, um, and then leave a like, comment, subscribe uh, to my channel. Do appreciate all the support, and I will see you guys on my Twitter for that giveaway. Really expecting this to hit. I don't see how it doesn't unless one of these guys gets like injured or they just have like a career worth shooting day, but I do think these are very, very easy lines to hit for today for, you know, Al, Bobby, Jordan, and Tatum. There's a ton more I like, so maybe I'll put up some extra, you know, picks for today, but these are the four I'm rocking and rolling with. Do appreciate your guys' support. Like the video. Let's try to get to 20 likes. Uh, subscribe. And then I'll see you guys on my Twitter for that giveaway. So thank you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.